हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस टाइप वन ड्राइवर अंडर जेडीबीसी ड्राइवर्स सो इन यस्टरडेज क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस दैट व्हाट इज जेडीबीसी एंड व्हाट इज अ ड्राइवर एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्राइवर्स दैट आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय जेडीबीसी सो ड्राइवर इज समथिंग दैट इज यूज टू कम्युनिकेट from one particular application to the respected database okay so driver acts as a translator that is used to communicate okay from your java application to the respected database so if your java application wants to query certain things okay from your database then there should be some medium with the help of which the java application must communicate so that the database must understand the calls that are being sent from the java application to this particular database and vice versa okay so it is acting as a translator driver is a translator it is a medium to convert one specific call into another specific call that we have discussed so type 1 driver is basically that we have just discussed okay that this particular driver okay it uses odbc driver internally okay so let's understand this what does it mean so there is this is the system architecture okay of jdbc odbc okay bridge in this okay if java application okay wants to communicate something okay to this particular database then there must be some calls that must be exchanged from this particular java application to this database and from this database to this java application so that okay the flow of information must be there okay so odbc driver is responsible okay to communicate with the database so there is a concept that is known as odbc driver concept this is open database connection okay this is open database connection so what it does okay it is the responsibility of the odbc driver to communicate with the database so it is the responsibility of odbc to convert the odbc calls to the database specific calls and it responds okay from it takes the input from the database it it converts you can say the database specific calls okay to the java application to the to some calls that is being okay that is being decoded that is been understandable by this java application so now what happens if my java application okay that comes with okay this jdbc comes with this java application okay it is inbuilt it is a part of this java application if my java application wants to send something then it must send in the form of a jdbc calls okay so this jdbc calls must be converted into the odbc call okay it must be converted so that this odbc driver can convert it further to the database so in order to convert internally type 1 driver okay is there okay that uses this odbc driver so it is the responsibility of type 1 driver okay so this odbc driver you can say it is hidden inside this type 1 driver now it is the responsibility of the type 1 driver to convert the jdbc calls that is being transferred from this java application to the odbc calls okay so the jdbc call is converted into odbc call for the odbc driver with the help of this type 1 driver so this type 1 driver is acting as a bridge between a jdbc and odbc as you can see okay this is a bridge that converts the jdbc calls from this java application to the odbc calls that must be understandable by this odbc driver and further this odbc call is being converted to the java to the database specific call so that this database can understand what instruction is being provided by this odbc calls okay so it is the whole sole responsibility of the odbc driver only 
to communicate with the database it is not the responsibility of the jdbc call or the java application to communicate directly with the database okay it is communicating with the help of this odbc driver that is an internal part of the typhoon driver driver okay so it is written that internally it uses odbc driver to convert the jdbc specific calls to odbc specific calls so that odbc can communicate with the database okay so this is a bridge okay this is a bridge it acts as a bridge it acts as a medium to convert the jdbc calls into the odbc calls and vice versa so the main advantage of using okay this typhoon driver is it is a part of a gdk okay there is there is no need to install it separately it is a part of gdk it comes with the gdk there is no need to separate to install it separately okay so this typhoon driver is being is being provided by it, it, it is being provided by the sun microsystems okay sun microsystem first designed this typhoon driver so the main thing is that this particular driver okay this driver and this java application must be installed in a client machine okay this is mandatory that this driver and this java application must be present in the client machine okay and this driver is independent of database okay because it is not communicating directly with the database this is communicating with the help of this odbc driver because these jdbc calls are being converted into odbc calls with the help of this driver so it is you can say it is indirectly communicating with the database so this is a database independent okay so now the main disadvantage of using this type of drivers is that the performance is degraded okay so nowadays these type 1 drivers are not used so how the performance is degraded you can see that there are different levels of calls that are being exchanged okay first the jdbc call from the java application is converted by the driver to the odbc call so that the odbc driver can understand again the odbc calls are being converted into the database specific calls so there are two levels okay two levels of calls that are being converted as a result of which okay the processing is very much okay the process the processing time is increased and you can say that the performance is degraded so it is one of the slowest type of drivers out of the four driver so type 1 driver is very much slow and it is now been deprecated it is not used nowadays okay and it is also platform dependent why it is plat platform dependent because this odbc was being introduced okay by microsoft and this odbc is completely restricted to windows operating system okay we cannot use this odbc in our linux okay or in our mac or any other operating system it is completely window based okay window operating system based so it is completely platform dependent that's why these the support for this type 1 type of drivers is now been deprecated okay till java 1.7 it was used so from the java 1.8 version the type 1 driver is been deprecated it is not being used the support is now being deprecated okay so what is the advantage of this particular okay the advantage you can see the advantage is this particular driver okay it is a database independent okay so you can say it is very much easy okay to migrate from one database to another database okay you can migrate from one database to another database easily okay migration is easy because the jdbc type 1 driver is database independent okay so completely odbc drivers responsibility is to communicate with the this particular driver this particular database okay so thanks and in the subsequent lectures okay we'll just see some other type of drivers